Right now, somewhere in the world, an AI is deciding a soldier's fate on a battlefield. In a quiet office, it's tracking your shopping habits. And in a police station, it's predicting who might break the law next. Welcome to the invisible empire of Palantir, a tech giant you've probably never heard of, yet it's already shaping your life. The core mission of our company always was to make the West, especially America, the strongest in the world for the sake of uh, global peace and prosperity. This is Bizalon, where we uncover the forces driving tech, geopolitics, and AI. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on Palantir Technologies, a company that's soaring in 2025 while raising big questions about power and privacy. Buckle up. This is going to get wild. Palantir isn't your typical Silicon Valley company. Forget social media apps or shiny gadgets. They're building tools that track terrorists, power drones, and even monitor your daily life. In 2025, their stock has skyrocketed nearly 60% year to date, making them one of the hottest tech stories right now. Palantir stock is booming, absolutely skyrocketing. Palantir has been a standout this week, surging 22%. Hugest outperformers of the last year. Right now, there is no comparable company. But how did this shadowy giant come to be? And what does it mean for our future? Let's dive in. It's 2003, and the world is still reeling from 9-11. Peter Thiel, fresh off selling PayPal for $1.5 billion, has a bold idea. What if the data analytics that stopped fraud at PayPal could stop terrorists? He teams up with Alex Karp, a philosopher with a PhD and a knack for big ideas. Together, they found Palantir Technologies, named after the seeing stones from Lord of the Rings. Their mission? To turn chaotic data into actionable insights. And they didn't start small. The CIA's venture capital arm, InQtel, provided early funding, giving Palantir a direct line to the world of national security. Thiel, a libertarian billionaire, brought a vision of data-driven solutions, while Karp's philosophical background shaped their approach to ethical challenges, or so they claim. Early on, Palantir faced hurdles, from proving their tech's value to navigating a skeptical market. But their focus on counterterrorism quickly quickly won over government agencies, setting the stage for their rise as a tech powerhouse. Palantir's secret sauce lies in its software platforms, Gotham, Foundry, Apollo, and the game-changing artificial intelligence platform, or AIP. These tools take massive, messy data sets, or even your medical history, and transform them into clear, actionable intelligence. Gotham, for instance, has been used by the US military to track high-value targets like Osama bin Laden. Foundry helps companies like Airbus and Morgan Stanley streamline operations. Airbus, we have 5,000 workers using our product. Now, maybe I'm just going back to my old philosophical days, but what's made this company special is not that we're secretive. It's not that we're an enterprise software. It's that we've been very focused on fighting terrorism with data protection. And what we're recently now very focused on as well is innovation with jobs. And AIP, launched in 2023, integrates large language models into private networks, enabling real-time AI-driven decisions. In Ukraine, Palantir's tech guide's artillery strikes with precision, a critical tool in the ongoing conflict. In the US, agencies like the FBI and ICE have used Palantir to analyze data for law enforcement, though not without controversy. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Palantir mapped the virus's spread for governments, proving its versatility. And in the UK, a $500 million deal with the NHS has Palantir managing patient data, raising eyebrows about privacy. In 2025, AIP is driving explosive growth, with US commercial revenue up 71% year over year, surpassing $1 billion annually. Their AIP boot camps, intensive training sessions, are helping clients like healthcare providers and logistics firms deploy AI work flows in hours, not months. But here's where things get murky. Palantir's tools don't just analyze data, they predict behavior. Predictive policing, powered by Palantir, 
can flag potential criminals based on patterns and data. Type a name into their system and it pulls up your address, your contacts, your entire life. Privacy advocates are sounding alarms and for good reason. Palantir's work with ICE, for example, has been linked to immigrant detentions, sparking accusations of enabling human rights abuses. The government agency paid the company $800 million last year Palantir services include digital profiling tools, which are reportedly being used to investigate undocumented immigrants and compile evidence against them. Some employees say that those tools are violating the civil liberties of immigrants. Alex Karp, Palantir's CEO, defends it as defending the West, but critics argue it's a step toward a surveillance state. Recently, Palantir stirred controversy by advising clients to avoid Chinese AI models from deep sea, citing security concerns. Is this a genuine warning or a move to protect their market dominance? The debate highlights the high stakes competition in AI where trust and geopolitics collide. With Palantir's contracts, like $1.3 billion from the Pentagon, growing, the question looms, who's watching the watchers? Palantir isn't slowing down. They're building AI-powered tanks, drones, and autonomous systems for defense and logistics. Their tech is the silent force behind wars, pandemics, and even your daily life. In 2025, their stock is up nearly 60%, driven by AI demand and government contracts. Analysts predict revenue could hit $3.9 billion by year's end, with growth continuing as AI becomes central to industries like healthcare and supply chain management. But with great power, comes great responsibility. As Palantir expands, so do concerns about unchecked surveillance and ethical boundaries. Will their tech keep us safe or create a world where every move is tracked? That's the question we can't ignore. Palantir is the tech giant you didn't see coming, but it's already here, shaping our future in ways we're only starting to grasp. At Bizalon, we're here to keep you ahead of the curve, like comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into tech, AI, and geopolitics. Stay curious, because the world's changing faster than you think.